Before I let you go, um, just because you are so close with the Clintons and Hillary Clinton and you were um, obviously so involved in her campaign, are you surprised and is Hillary Clinton surprised at how often the president invokes her name, how often the White House talks about her? We are on Monday 200 days into the Trump administration and it seems that not a week goes by where he doesn't mention her. Yeah, you know, it's unprecedented. You never saw that behavior from uh, any other president who's uh, talking about the person uh, they beat. I think it really just bugs the hell out of him that she got three million more votes than he did. Uh, and he keeps coming back to that. Uh, obviously, you know, we bear the burden of having lost the Electoral College. So, uh, you know, I, I lose sleep about that every night. Uh, but I think that he it's you know it's partly uh, strategic to try to deflect attention from uh, his problems but i think he's really under her she's really under his skin because he knows that in the popular vote uh, that that she beat him and beat him soundly and what does she say about that well look i think she'll have something to say about that when she when her book comes out in mid september and you know i think she's uh, reflected on 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 the mistakes that she made mm -hmm. and uh, what she might have done different, but I think she'll also uh, talk about uh, where the country is and, and, you know, how to move forward. That's what she's always done in her life, which is when she's gotten knocked down, she's uh, tried to make a positive mm -hmm. contribution coming out of that. And I think that uh, that's what this book will attempt to do. John Podesta, thanks so much for your perspective.